And we start the 430 with breaking news that we've been following all afternoon. That's right. Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo announcing she will be taking a leave of absence for medical reasons. A lot of questions remain about how county leadership will operate while Judge Hidalgo is undergoing treatment. Former Judge uh, Ed Emmett here served as Harris County Judge for 12 years. He joins us now to walk us through some of the issues this may raise. And one of the reasons we brought you in is because you know how the county operates, who signs off on decisions. What is that going to look like with Judge Hidalgo out? Well, interestingly enough, day to day operations won't be affected that much. Most of the programs and operations are done by the four county commissioners in their precincts. And other than that, the county departments manage the various programs and activities uh, where it will affect two major areas. Number one, the operations of commissioner's court itself. The county judge is the presiding officer. And the way tradition has it, the senior member of commissioner's court then acts as county judge. So I'm assuming the signing of papers and all that will be done by Commissioner Ellis. The other area that may be of more concern, though, is emergency management. By statute, the county judge is the director of Homeland Security and Emergency Management. So, for example, if a hurricane comes our way, uh, the good news is the full-time staff at the Office of Emergency Management is still there. But that's the only one that there's a question about who would actually make the decisions. Okay, so it doesn't sound like it's going to impact the day to day operations very much. If people watching right now who might not know how the processes work, is there anything that they should be concerned about or should be watching? Other than emergency management, no, uh, because like I said, the, the budgets, the, the programs, the activities are mainly in the commissioner precincts. The county judge has very few specific programs that, that are in the judge's office. Okay. And then we're talking about uh, you yourself, uh, 12 years as a county judge. You were there during uh, lots of moments uh, of need, hurricanes, and you sort of already touched on this, but is there any understanding of what that will look like if we were to get an event like that? No, I, I think that is the one concern, area of concern, uh, and the commissioners need to address that issue sooner rather than later because, as I understand it, Judge Hidalgo is likely to be out until September. Mm -hmm. So at least till September. And so we've got quite a bit of hurricane season and, and then other things can happen. You can have fires, you can have chemical spills, all those emergencies. So, but the, the good news is, is an outstanding staff in the Office of Emergency Management. They've been there for well over a decade. And so uh, the commissioners are familiar with them. Okay, so it's likely that they'll be talking about how to move forward in their next meetings. Uh, I would certainly hope so. <laughs> and and uh, just a follow-up question for you. Has this ever happened, do you know, in, in Harris Good County? It, not, not to my knowledge. Uh, I, I do think uh, uh, Judge Hidalgo took a leave a little bit earlier in her uh, tenure, uh, but this is the first time for this length of time that I'm aware of. All right. All thank right. You, well, thank you, Judge, so much for coming and, and sharing that perspective with us. We definitely are uh, our thoughts with Judge Hildago, and we're wishing her a speedy recovery. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. All right.